and once again welcome to my workshop. Today's video is a continuation of the series of videos of uh, starting to wood turn. So today we have a beautiful piece of myrtle and we are going to make what's commonly known as a bud vase. Um, now a bud vase is a, a, a small vase to put a single rose in or something like that that's very presentable and uh, makes a beautiful little gift and uh, especially out of some beautiful wood like this. We're going to start by putting a pencil cross on each end okay from corner to corner to give us the center of the material. Okay, so we have our cross on our wood. Now the next thing we're going to do, now this is quite a, a standard method then of these types of uh, small bench lays to take this chuck off. Now to take the chuck off, they normally give you a, a shaft which fits into a key location. And you just put the, the key of the chuck in there and just shouldn't be very tight at all okay so this is just used to hold the shaft the drive shaft still while you unscrew that once you've done that you can unscrew the chuck now this is a uh, quite a high class um, wood lathe chuck now this is sold separately uh, at least I, I purchase this separately. Um, in fact, the the chuck uh, was probably half the price of the actual lathe itself. So, you know, these are not a cheap item. But uh, if you shop around, I suppose, you know, you might get it a bit cheaper. So, we'll put that aside. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to put this piece of wood between centers to hold it in the lathe and drive it. So this is what's commonly known as a spur drive. Okay, so it's tapered. Okay, and it has a teeth and a spike in the middle. Well, that spike in the middle, we line up with our cross there. So we're on center and we just give that a tap in. Like that, so it grips. I bring it around so you can see. See how it's gripped into the wood there? The teeth are actually into the wood. So that's that's how you fit that. Now this is this is the tailstock spike and it's got a bearing here. Okay, so it's a spike. It sits in the other end, so it's held between spikes, as it were. Just take this off a moment. Bring this up here, and we're going to... Now, we're going to push this in there quite firmly, because so, the taper to taper, the taper inside of this shaft, that actually, that's what it relies on to actually grip. That's all you need to do. And it's, it'll hold there. So this goes on the end of here. There's a taper in here, this end too. So I'm going to bring this up. Wind it back just a little. Now we're going to line this up. So I'm going to tighten that up there. That locks the tailstock to the bed. I'm just going to turn this in. See if I can get that right in the center of that there cross which is there 
Y them in like that, not too far, and lock that up so this doesn't unwind and it then comes slack. Now I'm going to do another little job because the previous job to this I was turning a platter or bowl which is large diameter. Now because this is a medium diameter okay I need to put it on the medium speed range uh, so this particular lathe although it has variable speed control um, it has high medium and low as well so we're going to change this now to the medium speed Okay, so now we've got it between senders and we've got set on the right speed, we're going to set the tool rest up in the correct plane in relation to the piece of work. Now, this piece of work is now set um, midway, in other words the right centre height, as in it's a square piece so I've got this set sort of halfway or in in line with the center of the the lathe then so you need to set your tool rest about quarter of an inch below that I'll show you the reason why so this is a spindle gouge a fairly spin a fairly standard spindle gouge now if you notice, and this rests on here like this, okay, on the tool rest. So if you notice the back of this in relation to the cutting edge, I think that's in focus. So you got the this is where the it rests on the tool rest. So the cutting edge is like quarter of an inch further on up. So the idea is you get the cutting edge on centre height of the lathe and the material. So that's why you set the tool rest slightly lower. Okay, just roughly about a quarter of an inch lower. So uh, there was a little bit of confusion I think on my last video <laughs> um, when I was describing that. It was a little bit out of focus. So, so hopefully now some of you understand what I was trying to say. So we're going to come out a little bit further than that. So now we're going to start the lathe up and start turning. And we're going to get this to a round shape first. Uh, and this incidentally is going to be the, the back of the bud vase. So we're going to machine that first. And then we'll turn it around in the lathe, put it in the chuck, and then we'll bore the inside out and uh, machine it down uh, to a finished shape and finish it off and it'll be lovely. So here we go. Don't be tempted to take too much off, a little bit at a time. Uh, it's, you can just see a ghosting through here so that's what you're aiming for. I'm going to use a much broader tool to get it down a little bit quicker. Okay, so now I can move the tool rest in a little bit further because the overhang now is a little bit getting a little bit too much for this uh, small little lathe. Say about there. I always turn the material around just to make sure it's not going to hit anywhere. Start up again.
Okay. So now I can move the tool rest up here and machine this end up. just to face this off and make our tenon on here. And we'll speed it up to about 1200 RPM. wider so I'm going to introduce a new tool to you now and this is called a skew now you've got to be very careful using this tool because this one will bite if you're not careful. So I'm just going to use this one now to, to cut a, like a dovetail on here. So it gives me something to hold in the chuck. A bit more. Very carefully, pushing straight in. This is what the chuck is going to actually grip onto. Okay, so what we do now is the taper on here now will match up with the taper that's on the teeth of the chuck. We can now pop that in there and tighten the chuck up. So, now to make sure it's all in there nice and square and firm, what I do is get the tailstock and put on there, lock that up, well, oh, turn the other way around, lock that up, push it into the chuck, like that, lock that up. Now tighten the chuck up. Fairly firm. <clears throat> like so. So now we're going to shape the entire body and actually finish the body. And then we'll bore the inside out. Speed is 2,500 RPM now.
Okay, the overhang is getting a little bit too much now, so I'm gonna move this in and just concentrate on this <clears throat> far end here now. And I'm gonna shape the neck. And uh, I mean, we're not, you know, it's only gonna have a bore hole in there big enough to take a single rose. So, uh, you know, it's not gonna be a huge uh, bore right through the middle. So I'm just going to do a bit of shaping up here now. I just want to put a little band here. This is a pattern off tool actually, but I'm turning it sideways. I'm purposely letting that go black as well. A lot of people use uh, a copper wire to do this little trick, but uh, I, you know, I get the same effect just by using the uh, the tip of the cutting off uh, or patting off tool. Do that center one just a little bit more. a little better. That's quite nice. I quite like that. So now we'll move down this way a little. We haven't got to the finish stage here yet. Well you know I've got a lot of quite a bit of sanding to do. I'll take this all the way up to about 450 something like that. So I want to shake this a little bit more now.
start finish. Absolutely, it is like glass. Like glass to the touch. Beautiful. Look at the accents come up as well. Okay, so this next job now is we're just going to bore the inside out very gently. There's quite a, a long piece of wood sticking out unsupported. Just line this up. Bring it back a touch. And we'll turn it on. Very quietly, we're going to bore the inside out now. Very quietly indeed. So there you have a very beautiful little bud vase in myrtle. Look at the, look at the wood grain on that. I don't know where you can pick it up. It's absolutely beautiful. With the accents burnt into the wood. So I hope you've liked the video today and I hope it's been informative for you. And look, there's no hard and fast set design for any type of vase or bowl. It's whatever you want it to be. So thank you for joining me today. If you've liked the video, please press like and subscribe. 
that's always a, a help and uh, if you would like to at the end of this video and um, below this video above the comment section um, there is a link to Patreon uh, if you would like to help support this channel so thank you for joining me and it's bye for now